know what you were doing. Signal down here, remember? I didn't, but Mike did. You trying to call Gumby now? No, the express, but no signal. You know he ain't gonna answer. He's got too much other stuff going on. Are we talking trash cans? <laughs> <laughs> you guys know better. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! What are you guys doing in here? You're supposed to be in my binders. We wanted a ride to the store. Today's the big day. Ricky wants his free pack. Store? What are you talking about? It's National Baseball Card Day. It is, isn't it? Well, I got a lot of errands to run today, so I don't think there's going to be much time. Oh, please, just for we one day. We promise not to spend less than a day now. Come on, Mike. Okay, but just for a minute. Yes, baseball. Right. Oh, right. Ricky knew we were going. Can we bring our friends too? Friends? I drive a little Kia. How many people do you think I can fit in here? It's not a lot. All right, but they sit in the back seat, and everyone wears a seatbelt. What? <laughs> hey, Rock. Yo! I want to kiss you. I present to you the flop of the century. Woo! All right, let's go. So we're on the road for National Baseball Card Day to the local LCS, maybe two. But we're not just here to celebrate the hobby holiday, we're here to celebrate the 500 subscription plateau of Andy from Nostalgic About Baseball. Congrats, Andy. Yours is a number one like me can only dream of for now. But great job with your channel. Keep doing what you're doing. Slab stars of the 80s, some vintage stuff, some Braves. And what better way to show off some cards and do it while we're driving? Someone does that around here. First, we'll start off with some Georgia Bulldog love. And Mr. Justin Houston, the four-time Pro Bowler, who picked up 11 sacks last year, his first with the Colts. And then we have, oh, I'm sorry, Bo, it's the wrong video, and you're in the wrong SEC team, so bye. Just put him away for now. We'll just keep him in the trunk. What do you think about that? Wouldn't be a good video without some Braves, though not from Atlanta, so sorry about that. We're going to go back a ways to two vintage cards two stops the Braves had previously. Last year in Boston, with a great Warren Spawn, one of my favorite cards. Love the image of Warren, love the patch. It's a classic, and it's a two and a half, and I don't care. Then they moved on to Milwaukee, and we have this fine, young, up-and-coming superstar. Everyone's favorite Hank Aaron card, 54 rookie. Again, in the three, and again, I don't care. I'm keeping these two vintage cards forever. And here we are. Andy wanted us to show us a team we collect, so I'll call the passengers in today's ride my PC All-Star team. I have a few orders pending from some online sources. One from ComC is months away from being delivered, so I'll show those off at the end of the year, which is about the time they'll probably arrive. But we took a trip to two different 
card shops. And here's what I grabbed in person today. And then we'll get to the good National Baseball Card Day packs and giveaway. First shop was full of vintage for my PC boys. A couple of 77 Phillies, Mike Schmidt and Lefty Carlton. They're good fillers. Beat up 75 Ryan but for five bucks. I couldn't resist. To go along with the Pete Rose card. I like this card because he's leaning over so much they had to <laughs> the field is straight this way, and then if you they kind of rotated it, so it looks like he's falling backwards through the field. 85 OPG of Dale Murphy. He was very excited to get one of his own cards. Paul Molitor and a few Ozzy Smiths I picked up. Those was a little light on his collection, so I got a few others. 82 Donruss. Neat looking picture on his 86 Fleer. And 87, which I didn't realize I was missing. This little eyeball piece of Kirby from 87. Craft Home Plate Heroes, mac and cheese uh, box, and an 87 Pete Rose Star Sticker. And I got one pack at the store, and then the second store. Way do you see what I finished? A couple of Roger Clemens rookies, Don Russ and Fleer, just have that in my Rocket PC. Some nice looking Gary Carter cards, 1980, great action shot with the dust, and he does have the ball. I like this image on 81, even though the green doesn't match his uniform, but it does match the 85 design. This is a gorgeous looking card with the red, white, and blue. And I also picked up the entire 1992 Upper Deck Football Heroes of Sweetness, 10 card set of my favorite running back of all time, Walter Payton, Went through his college years and all the years with the Bears and the records he broke in the World Series, the World Series. The Super Bowl championship and his Hall of Fame induction. Sweetness. And finally, before we get to opening of packs, I finished my sixth vintage set this year. Finally found a somewhat centered Hal McRae in action. Still 65 35 to the left. They're notorious for being heavy to the left, but the corners and edges are nice, and the back is clean. And 1972 Master is done. I can't wait to cross that off. So quickly, for my... I was lucky to, that Pete Alonso was the giveaway uh, this year, because I need him for my 50 home runs in a season club. Stick in my binder that I showed a couple weeks ago. It's a nice looking card of Pete. Marked as the giveaway. There's a giveaway next weekend. It's Alvarez is the giveaway. And then there's a Mike Trout something or other. I mean, no one mentioned it, so they're probably keeping them. But quickly, the first pack is was there five or six in a pack? Chapman. Ooh, Aaron Judge. It's a nice looking card to him. I don't have an Aaron Judge like that. Jacob DeGrom. It's New York, New York heavy. Berrios and Christian Yelich. A lot of the same players from last year's. There's a Berrios on the top of this pack. They didn't mix them up like they did with the uh, Diamond Kings. So they're going in order now. Yelich and then Alfaro, Miami. Nice Bellinger. That's a nice shot there. And Merrifield. Trying to bring Kansas City back into prominence. So that's it. I will not post my packs, but I will congratulate Andy again, Nostalgic About Baseball. His channel is linked below. Make sure you check him out and be part of his ever-growing network. Andy, thank you for your support to my channel and continued success as always. I'm gonna put all these big boys away. And that's it for now. See you guys later.